Well, good morning, everyone. Good to see you all this morning. I'm Todd Sumney, the Chief Industry Officer here from Smart International. And I uh, just want to thank you all for joining us on our Drive to Five, our Roadmap to Success, five times the amount of transactions. That's our goal. So, uh, or if you're a newer agent, your first five transactions right away. Um, what we're looking today, I want, do want to say thank you uh, real quick, though, to all of our sponsors in our Home Smart Marketplace. And I uh, hope to see uh, all of you working with all of them in a few weeks. It's actually probably a few days away now up in Las Vegas uh, for our Growth Summit uh, convention happening um, February 21st, 22nd, 23rd. So excited about that event. And uh, at that event, you're going to see Eleni Summershield. She is with Wise Agent here with us today. And um, so we're gonna uh, explore Wise Agent, automated marketing, CRM, uh, artificial intelligence, all of it, everything that can help you grow your business. Obviously, you know, our goal, why are we doing this webinar series? Your first five transactions, five more than you did last year, or five times the amount of transactions. That's, that's what we want. So uh, again, I'm Todd Sumney. Uh, good to see you all. And um, we're going to dig into how do we engage our sphere of influence to increase our business. So as you heard me say, we have Eleni Summershield here. Uh, with Wise Agent, we are on day 10 here of the webinar series. And I just want to remember or remind all of you, remember back when we first did day one of the uh, webinar series, and <coughs> excuse me, we were talking about a budget and we were talking about, uh, you know, setting a budget for the year and a marketing budget. And one of those light items was an automated marketing system, a CRM, something to really help us tap into our database and to be able to actually um, result uh, in transactions by engaging, expanding, organizing our database, all of those things. And that's what we're gonna talk about here with Wise Agent. But to put it in perspective of that budget, remember I was telling you about um, average commission, you know, somewhere around, let's just say $7,500 average commission according to the National Association of Realtors last year. I don't have the wise number, the right exact number, but I'm sure Lenny does later. <laughs> um, but you know, what four hundred dollars investment for a year, and then seventy five hundred dollars if you sell one home. Uh, it's just to me, it's a no brainer. It's not an expense. This is an investment in our marketing business. It's the gasoline into the engine of our uh, you know business. So, without any further ado, you know, we're digging in here to Wise Agent. This is a screenshot here of their homepage of their website. Uh, an amazing interface, amazing cap capabilities, amazing power that is available. I love, remember when we're talking database marketing, you have to build something, put something in place, then you start expanding it, adding people into it, and then you have them organized and you're expanding them into these groups and you're marketing them, you're speaking to buyers, you're speaking to sellers, past customers, you know, um, first time home buyers, you know, different niches. So, um, you know, and Wise Agent will help you do that. And then you're going to engage it. You're going to engage it on a regular basis. You're going to kick off campaigns. You're even going to take um, contacts that have been sitting dormant for a long time and um, revitalize them through um, artificial intelligence. And I don't want to steal Eleni's thunder anymore. <laughs> I really want to pass it over to her. I'm going to stop my share here and uh, let you take it away. Um, Eleni, Eleni, thank you for joining us and I appreciate you being here. And let's thanks. dig into how they can grow their business using Wise Agent. Yes, thanks, Todd. Thanks for that um, introduction. So, um, good morning, everyone. My name is Eleni Summershields. I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Wise Agents. Um, we are based out of Fountain Hills, Arizona, but I am originally from Chicago, so I do know that cold weather. And hopefully, you guys out in Chicago and New York and Colorado and everywhere else are staying warm today. Um, I'm excited to be sharing Wise Agent with you all today because like Todd said and like he's been saying for the past several weeks with you all, how important it is to be utilizing your a CRM and an automated marketing solution to get your um, yourself out there, your brand recognition, um, and increase your business. So I'm going to share my screen here. And... 
Um, so I know um, this is um, the Wise Agent. This is um, the co-branded site for HomeSmart. We do have a little bit better pricing for you guys than what Todd showed originally. So I'm gonna share with you, that with you here in a minute. But um, that was a little surprise for Todd that we've been working on, um, that we wanna give you guys the best value and increase your productivity and your production. And so that's what we do here at Wise Agent is help you with that. All right, I'm just going to show you um, once you're logged in, this is what the CRM looks like. And now just so you guys know, this is not going to be a full on demo of Wise Agent. This is going to be um, mostly specifically, I'm going to be talking about that automated marketing and what you'll be doing. Um, so a few things for you guys to know is that Wise Agent does have 24-7 um, support and we have unlimited training. So we hold training sessions throughout the week, throughout the day. Um, you can call into our office and I'll post all of our contact information and just say, hey, I need to talk to somebody. Can I do a screen share? Can you walk me through this? Um, or if you wanna send an email and say, hey, can you send me an set of instructions on how to do this or a quick video? We have all of that already done for you. So don't ever be shy in calling us or emailing us. Um, we love hearing from everyone. And so- um, yeah, you know, Lenny, and that's one of the things right there in the chat, you know, can you talk about support? Do you have phone support? Absolutely. All kinds of support. And you were just saying, don't, don't feel you know, bad about reaching out. Please reach out, but you have phone support, email support chat support like chat yeah everything like video so we have you know everyone learns slightly different from everybody else right like i love watching a quick like um three to five minute no longer than five minutes i'm kind of busy i like to hurry through things and so i like watching a quick video on how to learn how to do something other people want to slow it down and want to hear more want to be walked through that we have that available for you as well and don't worry i'm not one of the um trainers so um you won't have to listen to me speed talk through everything because i tend to to do speed talking i'm also greek and we talk with our hands a lot and we talk fast um so don't worry about that our trainers will walk you through whatever it is that you need help don't be shy about calling us or reaching out to us and i'll get through on um, the support part towards the end here all right one of the things that i wanted to talk really about when todd and i were talking about what this session was going to be teaching you all was really that automation and that's such an important thing because um, really, you have a lot going on in your business, right? You're prospecting, you're handling transactions, right? So you're nurturing, um, you're nurturing people. You want to make sure that you get everything done. You're out in showings, you've got transactions, you're dealing with loan officers. Sometimes you're dealing with a lot of things. And a lot of your marketing needs to be um, set up in a way that it will automatically happen. Now, it's not set it and forget it because you don't want to forget about reaching back out to people there should be more interactive right it's those belly to belly conversations are really important picking up the phone call as we saw in the last um, almost two years now through the pandemic people love using their phone again and actually talking on it not just texting through it and so having all of those things um, in a crm is really important in this automated solution um, and I love a meets question. Will someone set this up for us completely? Sometimes we get tools, but we're not able to use it because setup is not done correctly. I love that question. Um, and so, yes, you will get this and you will be the one setting it up with one of our staff. So you will have someone dedicated to you, a whole session dedicated just to you with one of our um, members here, one of our, our um, getting started um, people, one of our trainers will be on a call with you, either Zoom or phone call, preferably Zoom, to walk you through how to set up your, um, your account. Okay, so we'll get more into details on that in a, um, later on a meet. All right, so now how do you get this automation? How do you get everything set up? So let me just start by saying we have this, um, this feature in here where you can have, if you're getting any internet leads, any leads coming in from your website, from um, any internet portals, right? Like Zillow and Realtor.com, any, any leads that you are getting through the internet, you can automatically set those up to get, um, you know, certain, certain actions be done automatically. So you could add them to a drip campaign. Now, if there should be, um, if you guys wanna post in the chat, just saying who has um, internet leads, who is getting any leads in from their in, from internet sources, just like from your website or whatever, if you guys wouldn't mind putting that in the chat, it's always nice to know like who is getting that done. Cause then 
If you don't have any internet presence, we also have something for you there as well. Okay, so you can set it up on a drip program, which a drip program is exactly that where it just will send off an email or a text or remind you to make a phone call. So you can just keep continuously be reaching out to, um, to your sphere, to your people, to your database um, without you having to think about it. It will either automatically send out the email or the text message or just send you that reminder that you need to make that phone call. You can make that phone call right from our system through the dialer that we have in here. Um, the other nice thing is you can automatically categorize it and say, you know what, everyone that comes in from my website, I want to add them to my monthly newsletter list. I want to make sure that they get my newsletter. And don't worry if you don't write your own newsletter, we do that for you as well. So we write a newsletter every month that you could send out um, to everyone in your database. All right, now here's where the magic happens, where you could set it up where an auto response goes out immediately after the lead comes in or that contact fills out that form or su submits an inquiry from one of the portals. So as soon as the inquiry comes in or the form is submitted, you can send out, you could set it up and each, let me just backtrack here for one second, each source, so that means Realtor.com, Zillow, your website, Facebook leads, wherever you're getting leads from, those can all get different responses. Okay, that's really important that you understand that because the people that are coming in from one of the portals, you may want to send them to your Facebook page, right? And say, hey, check out all of my, you know, everything that I've been doing on Facebook, right? Maybe your Facebook business page if you have that set up. Um, but the ones that are coming in from maybe a Facebook ad, you don't want to redirect them back to Facebook because that's where they came from. Maybe you want to take them to your um, to your website or maybe to your Zillow reviews or your rate my agent reviews. You want to take them to somewhere else. And so you can do all of that in here for them, as well as give them some kind of call call to action. Right. So please reply back and let me know the best way to contact you. That would be your call to action here. And this is just a canned response that we have that you can um, change as you, you know, see fit. So you can update this as ever, however you see fit. Now you could also add video responses. And this is where it's so powerful. Like what we're doing right now is done through video. You can hear the inflection of my tone. You could see me smiling. You can see all these things and really be able to connect. And now on my screen, I can see several of you. Right. And so it's really important to start using video and utilizing video in your business. People can see you and and really get to know you on that level. So then they recognize you when they finally meet you in person. So that's also something that we have in there for you that would go out automated. Yeah. So, hey, real quick, there's a question in the chat. Johnny, um, you yeah. know, the HomeSmart website is a potential lead source. Any lead source that is out there, you can set up so that when that lead comes in, they get a specific response. So you can have the leads from your HomeSmart website yeah. flow into the system. You can have your Facebook flow in, Instagram. You can have a landing page done for a neighborhood or something like that. So all these things, um, all the lead sources, no matter where they come from, you can set up in the system. Exactly. So um, you, you don't have to worry about it as long as you're getting an email notification um, or we have a whole list of um, different integrated partners that we um, that we can get leads from, then it's not a problem. You can set up this rule and get that email also done for you. Okay, the other thing that's really super powerful, powerful besides video is text messaging, right? So maybe you guys have a couple of text messages just because you're listening to me and not looking at your phones, right? But really throughout the day, you're checking text messages, you're replying, text messaging has a 98% open rate and response rate within the first 15 minutes. That's a huge, huge response rate. Now I'm not saying that email is dead because email is still very powerful and that should still be used for especially those longer messages. But text messaging to get your message out there right away is something that's really valuable. And so you can set up a text response as well. So as long as you're capturing a mobile number, you can have um, responses going out to, to your contacts that have, you know, your potential clients um, going out automatically. And again, that call to action, can you talk now? And then let them respond to that. You want to make sure that you have some kind of question there so they know what step to take next. Okay. Real and quick. then, oh, Eleni, no. one other quick thing. Um, we've been teaching them a little bit about 
you know, Google Forms, and I know you have some capture forms and things yeah. like that. You know, you can create either a Google form or a capture form in Wise Agent that says, hey, uh, I just got your request for more info about a home. You know, would you like me to send you automatic listing alerts the minute homes become available on the market? And that's a great easy one because sometimes maybe they're not ready to talk, but right. they'll be like, yeah, send me listings the minute they hit the market. So that's a way to get them to double engage with you. Anyway, yeah. didn't want to interrupt. Yeah, no, that's perfect. I love that. And then Sarah's question, did you say that you can have canned text message responses? Yes. So that would be the can the text message that goes out as soon as the the um I hate calling them leads because they're people, right? So I always call them like potential clients. So as soon as the potential client um, submits the form or submits the inquiry, then yes, we could have a text response that goes out to them automatically. And you can set that up right here in this um, text response. So this is a demo account. I never set these to yes, because when I'm doing testing, um, people are going to be getting text messages. Yep. Okay. And so then, and now there is another more powerful system that we have also um, added to Wise Agent, which would be the AI bot. Um, and this will go into more details on the AI bot and the features and benefits of this. Um, and I'll show this in greater details in a moment. But an AI bot, for all of you that don't know what AI stands for, that stands for artificial intelligence. And what that's done is there's conversations that have already been set up. Um, so you don't have to do anything. If you are getting leads coming in, right, or potential clients coming in from your website or from one of the portals, or if you're running Facebook ads, um, then, and you know that they are either buyers or sellers, you can set up the bot to automatically have that conversation with them and help with the um, nurturing and help with kind of discern for you to discern are these real potential um, clients or are they just kind of like looky loos that need to just fall off? Yep. Okay. And so the bot will have a conversation and I'll show you that in a minute. And then of course there's notifications. It's really important to get notified and the distribution if you're on a team. Okay. So once you have like your rules kind of set out in front of you and knowing what you want your message to be, then it's, you know, and maybe you're not getting leads from a portal. Maybe you're not getting, um, maybe you don't have a website set up. Well, it's okay. We have that option for you. Or maybe you're not running um, Facebook ads and you don't want to, you've never done that and you don't know how to start that. And that's could be a costly um, process, especially could cost you a lot of money if you're not doing it right we have a solution for you, which would be landing pages. Now, landing pages serve one single function, and these are all of our templates that we have. We have a, a ton of them. Um, so landing pages are here for you to, um, to really be able to capture contacts information. So you can use this for an open house sign-in, which is a great you know, way of utilizing this. So when you're in an open house, instead of having a piece of paper that you then have to go back and decipher, is that a three, is that an eight? What is their first name? I have no idea what they're writing here. Um, you can just have it automatically go open up your laptop, open up a tablet and have it set to this page. And once they click on submit, that contact information will go immediately into Wise Agent. And you could even set it up with rules to add them to a drip campaign after the open house is, um, has ended, okay? So um, this is a really important way of using landing pages. It's a great way of using landing pages. Another great way of using um, landing pages for a single property page or even a multi-property page. So you could have multiple pages linked to one another. So I could create several of these single property pages for some of my listings, right? So I'm listing 123 Main Street, I'm listing, you know, 4567, you know, um, whatever avenue. And so I can have a YouTube video. And again, this is the most important part is this um, contact form for them to have, um, for you to capture a first name, a last name, a phone number, and an email address. This is really important. This is the whole purpose of the landing page. Now, once, um, and then you can link, you know, you could create several of these and then link them to a multi-property page, right? So if you have multiple um, listings, you can have them all listed here. And when they click on see more details, it goes to that single property page. Understood? 
The other thing that we have for you that we've done is created lead magnets. Now, Todd, I'm not sure, have you, um, have you discussed what lead magnets are? Is that something that you want me to kind of dive deep into? Um, or maybe, maybe not sure, so maybe deep, but. Well, I would love you to do that. Go ahead. Okay. They need to understand all the, the power that's in the system. Yeah, so lead magnets are great. Um, especially right now, we've got, um, you know, in the majority of the country, it is just a seller's market, right? So um, you wanna make sure that you're, you're not, you know, losing a listing to a, a for sale by owner. You wanna make sure that you're getting those listings instead of it being a FISBO. So we have a lead magnet specifically for that. So maybe um, it would be, you would just create this, um, you would take this template and you can change out the colors and you can change out the image and whatever. Um, but really, this is just the template where it's top five mistakes sellers make. And what you can do is you can take this, this landing page and you can post it on Facebook in maybe, I said earlier, I'm from Chicago, Chicago Homes for Sale, right? And maybe that's where people are going on Facebook or some group that you belong to that you know that people are listing their homes for sale or looking for a home to buy or to sell. You can post it in that group. And say, you know, in the post, just say something as quick and short as don't make one of these mistakes, or do you want to find out what mistake not to make? And what we've done is we've created this form for you, but then, um, because now you also need to give them the five mistakes that they need to avoid. Right. And so we've already done that for you. We've taken care of that. And that would go back to our lead rules, where as soon as they fill out that form and click on submit, then you would just go in here and set up the rule. And we already have that nice download that they can get. It's in our content here. Um, and so you can come in here and say, find, um, find this, and here it is. Find these top five mistakes, and here it is, right? So what are the five, five mistakes? Ignoring professionals, choosing a bad realtor, overestimating your house, remodeling, not researching, and then it goes out branded. Okay, so that's part of the value is now you are able to do um, to capture your own your own potential clients or leads, right? You're able to do your own prospecting without it costing you any money, which is really important because those Facebook ads can be costly if you're not doing them right. Okay, so um, I see a question here. Are we able to modify these landing pages? Absolutely. I'm just showing you a preview of what they look like. As soon as you click on the create button, you could come in here and just say, um, you know, that you want to edit this one and you're able to go ahead and edit this, um, edit this landing page. So I can change the background color or image. I can um, do whatever, whatever it is that I, that I need to do. Okay. Um, can I, can you modify or add, I'm going to need to get my glasses up. Can you modify or add or edit this resources or potential clients? So, um, you can create your own. So those are the ones that we created for you. If you want to create your own and input that in there, we can walk you through doing that. Okay. Um, landing, are the landing page pages included in the monthly feed? That's a great question. Um, so you can't, there, there is a landing page that is included with your monthly fee. Um, and so that is, um, that is included in there. Great question. All right. So let me close out. I'm a tab person. I open up a million tabs throughout the day. So, so that's how um, the landing pages work. And now the marketing, this is where that other automation comes into play, right? So you're automating your responses as soon as they fill out that form, the landing page that you created or the inquiry coming in from any of the portals or your website. And now you're also saying, add them to a drip campaign. Well, what does that look like? And so I just created this, um, this just demo um, uh, program for you all to see. So um, you, yeah. Lenny, can you go back real quick to the other screen? I just want to explain one thing I've talked about with them. Um, one more, the main one. Um, so when it when she was showing on the screen just a moment ago, the main one, back one more. Oh, sorry. Right. Um, so it actually noticed that there's different campaigns and next to each campaign though, it'll say like 16 events. Okay. Yes. So those 16 events could be everything from um, five emails, three phone calls, four text messages, uh, two other call to actions. And those 16 items then make up the campaign. So it's not like it's just 16 
um, emails that are going out. It's a combination of all of the different things that are a power um, in the system. Right. Yeah, that's a good point, because that is something you don't want to just be sending out email, email, email and send out 16. I mean, you can most certainly. And there's right. some people that you only have an email address for. Um, but in my opinion, that's also a great way, a great reason to reach out and say, hey, you know what? I was thinking about you the other day. Send them an email and say, I was thinking about calling you the other day and I realized I don't have your phone number. Do you mind giving sending me your phone number or do you mind calling me or sending me a quick text? So that's even a great reason to send out like a touch point and to, you know, um, to reach out to them. Right. And right. in, in this little program that I created, this test, um, you know, um, program that I created, I did create three different actions. So the first action would be calling them on the phone and then sending a text message and then sending an email. So you can see you can you don't have to just do email, email, email um, across the board. But I did want to show you that we also have programs that are created for you. And so our programs are written in English, but we also have some that are written in Spanish for you as well. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right one um, in the right language. And, um, and, you know, we have just like a, a whole bunch of them that we, um, that we create everything from, you know, a seller's market and buyer's market to recruiting campaigns, expired and FISBOs. So you can do, um, just choose the right one that's right for you. That's the most important part is making sure that the message that you're sending is to the appropriate people. So, um, you know, segmenting your audience is a huge part of this that I know that we haven't touched on yet, but that is a huge part of your marketing automation that you should be doing. So I want to show you on how it looks when you um, when you set this program up. And so you can say, here's, you know, here's what my call on the phone and here's the script that I want because on your call list then whoever you have this set up for you will have them um, you will have this script in front of you when you're calling them so you know what it is that you want to say okay um, and then you you want to have maybe your next event so that would be like on day one you call them maybe then five days later and this is just in my test program you don't have to choose five days you could choose whatever is appropriate for you your business and your audience okay so five days later i said after i call them five days later i want to send them a text message saying hey whatever message i want to send them and then i want to send them a video Okay. And so maybe the video is going to be about, you know, depending on what my audience is and who I'm sending this to, maybe it's first time home buyers. Like, hey, as a first time home buyer, I just want you to know that I'm going to be there to walk you through the whole entire process. I'm not going to leave your side. I've got you, you know, you can, you know, and this, these are some of the things that we want to think about and talk about. If you don't have a, you know, a lender, you know, set up right now, reach out to me, let me know, and I'll get you set up with a, someone that can get you pre-qualified. OK, so you can send your message out, whatever it's appropriate for that, um, for this audience. Then your next event for this one, I changed, I set it for 10 days, but I can change this to say seven days and I have it set to go at 9 a.m. If that's not a good time for my audience and, you know, my audience is um, maybe these are um, people, that, you know, maybe it's a whole bunch of executives and they work late at night. Maybe I want to set this for, you know, 7 p.m. or 6 p.m. after dinner time. You know, so I can do that too. So you can change the time dependent on your audience. So again, you would put in your subject line, some compelling subject line, something that will compel them to open up this message. That's the, the big trick with email sending is you want there to be the subject line is that preview that they get. And you want to make sure that that kind of is not boring. You want there to be a splash in that, right? And you can inc include images. Um, and you can talk about whatever it is that you're going to be talking about, given the audience that you're going to be um, sending this to. And again, when this, I'm just going to put this in preview mode, it's mobile responsive. You have your brokerage logo here, your content here, and then again, your contact information here. Okay. So everything has your branding and you're um, always in front of them. You want to make sure that your brand is always there um, top of mind for them. Okay. Um, all right. So that is how our drip campaigns work. Now there are other options. So if you want to have another action type in here, that's like, 
a knock on the door or mail a postcard, these will, you are able to do that as well. And those will just be reminders to you on your calendar, on your wise agent calendar here on the dashboard that you need to do that. So it'll send you, you know, you'll see a, um, an appointment on here saying, hey, your marketing is to, you know, go knock on, you know, this neighborhood or go drop by and, you know, drop off a calendar, 2022 calendar to these people, okay? or Valentine's Day cards or whatever it is that you want to do. So that's how that would work. Okay, so you can have other actions in here, but these are the ones that are automated that would go out on the date and time that you specify, okay? Um, the other thing I said earlier in the, um, on this call is that um, email is not dead, and it certainly is not. You want to make sure that you are sending out emails to your database. You wanna make sure that you're consistently and constantly nurturing. And you wanna send things, we talked a little bit about segmenting your audience. One of the things that I always tell people is, you know what, segment your audience based on, obviously, are they buyers, are they sellers? Where are they at in that process? But then also base it on some other things that are not real estate specific. People have other interests, right? Are they like me and they like to garden? Um, do they like, you know, whiskey tasting and wine tasting? Do they um, have some other hobby? Do they play golf or tennis? And so you want to have their interests in here and, seg and be able to segment them by that. So let's say you belong to the tennis club. Um, make sure that you have a list of all, that your pe all the people that you play tennis with. So you can send them a message. Right? You want them to know that you're a realtor and they're able to, um, you're, you're able to be their advisor in that process. But you don't always want to be sending things out like, here's a new listing, here's a new listing, or do you want to sell, do you want to buy, do you want to do? You want to share content that is not real estate specific so they know that you care about them. Right? And so one of the things that we've incorporated within Wise Agent is this RSS feed. Now, I love this because I love to garden and I know a bunch of gardeners but I am in no position to give anyone any gardening advice, right? So I'm just not in that position. I just don't know it that well. So maybe you have the same thing. Maybe you have some interests like golf or whatever it is. Um, and so you want to send a message out there that's a little bit specific about their interests. And so I can come in here and with a click of a button after I've subscribed to a blog and I can just send them this message just saying, you know, read this article, thought of you, here you go, right? And I can edit what this does. So maybe I don't include all of this in here. And I can type out my message just saying, thinking of you, um, thought of you after I read this article, thought you would find that interesting. And then I can find everyone that's into gardening and I can send it to them. And again, this is now something of interest to them, has nothing to do with real estate, right? It's just something that, they now understand that I have heard them, I understand them, I like them, and they can trust me because when they listen, when they talk, I listen. And so this is something that um, you also can be doing. Now, this part isn't so much automated, but what is automated is the fact that you can just go in here and every single time click on, you know, this, this RSS feed and find something like every time I come in here, there's a new article on gardening, right? And so every time you can come in here, look at this one was updated on the 19th. This one was from the 4th of January. So I can come in here and every few weeks I could send them a different article and I've not written it. So um, the article is written for you and that's automatically done for you. And all you have to do is click a button and select your group that you're sending this to. Yeah, and Eleni, one of the things we talked about at the beginning of database marketing was about having a servant attitude, a servant's heart, a servant approach of serving your customer. And I love your line of, hey, I read this article. I was just thinking with you about you. I um, thought you may, you know, this may interest you. And I just thought I would pass it along as a service. Yeah. Like when you, when you approach it from that way, you're providing a service to people. So yeah. Yeah. you are. And I mean, and then it shows, it shows that you're providing a service, you're listening to them. And then most importantly for you and your real estate business, it opens up your sphere because what happens is if you guys are going to send me an email about gardening, I know 15, 20 other gardeners, right? They're all better than me. Um, but I might send them, you know, there might be some newbie gardeners that I'm trying to recruit to, to garden with me. And I'm going to forward your message to them as well. 
And now when I forward that message, right, about this gardening thing, guess what? When I click on forward, it still has your branding. It still has your contact information. And so maybe they look at their garden and they're like, gosh, I don't have any place to garden in. I better, let me call this realtor and see if they have a house that has a big enough backyard for me to garden in, right? So you open up your sphere in that way. You open up your, your circle of trust and the circle of people because now for me, it, it's like me referring you to them. I'm getting your name out there for you and you have, it hasn't cost you anything except for um, just a quick, a quick click um, and, and doing that. So, um, so that's how that would work. There are, um, so when you're segmenting your audience, um, that that is something that you need to make sure that you're doing that you're making sure that you're setting up um different people with different um you know different um categories and whatnot one of the things that i wanted to show you all too was let me see if i can get to my landing test page here so i want to demonstrate how a lead or a potential client would look like once they get um once they come into um once they come into Wise Agent. So I've got Vincent Ocean here, our, our, our test person. And so, let's space in there. Okay, so this is just a, a, a test landing page that we created. Um, basically, all we're doing is, um, all I did was just put in someone's email address. And now when I go to their contact record, I'm gonna refresh this page, right? And what Wise Agent is able to do is take that email address and scrape social media, right? All I did was entered in their email address. I scraped social media, Wise Agent did automatically. And we found his first and last name, his picture, what he does for a living, right? The company he works for, um, you know, I see the city that he lives in. It automatically categorized him, right? Because I have, I have that set up to, in the lead rules to automatically categorize him, right? I did that here because this was the domain that it came in on, okay? And then um, I, can, um, I can go ahead and see all of his profiles. So I can go to his LinkedIn, I could go to his Twitter account, I could tweet at him, I could save his tweets, and I can see what he's tweeting about. Maybe he's tweeting, he just got the, this promotion as director and um, is moving from Phoenix to New York. And so now I can start thinking, oh, okay, well, this is good. So I'm familiar with the Phoenix area. Yep, I'm in the New York market. Now I can show him this. And now I have some background information on him, even though I've never talked to this person. I have no idea who it is, but I get some insight based on their social media profiles that I can see what's happening. And so this is a great way of, you know, of being able to see who your audience is and then also segmenting your audience. Maybe they, um, you know, and this will work with all social media. They have Facebook and, um, and uh, Instagram and all these other things connected in here. I'd be able to see all of that. Okay, I'd be able to see all of those things. And maybe on Facebook, they said, you know, they're um, expecting twins or they, you know, just got engaged or whatever it is. Now you can have that connection with them and really find out a little bit more about um, what this, you know, and then connect with them on that personal level. In the notes, it will also show you, um, you know, their, their LinkedIn profile. So you don't have to click on it. And then, you know, when you get those profile notifications, like so-and-so has been clicking on your LinkedIn profile. Well, this will do it for you without you having to click, right? So now I can see where he got his degree from. I can see this, that, the other. Um, I can see when that lead came in. So you can see I did this in real time, right? Um, and I can see, you know, he's a golfer, a snowboarder, a sailor. Now I can reach out and I can, you know, maybe subscribe. I know nothing about snowboarding or golfing. Um, or sailing. I know nothing about that. And so I can subscribe to those blogs. I could read something and then try and connect on that level. All right. Eleni, so, real quick, someone asked a question about the do not call list. Does your system track or notify or mark people that are on the do not call list? So through our dialer, it does. If you're using our dialer, so I can come in here and um, we have a dialer that's built in. And so I can click on this and what it'll do is um, it will um, it will dial this. So I'm going to do Holly and she's going to put me on hold as soon as it connects. And so what will happen is this um, this system will um, will go ahead. Our dialer will scrub that and will know that they're on the do not call list and 
um, and then you know not not let you call. And so what happens is when the call is in progress, you'll hear um, you'll start hearing hold music here in a second. Um, and once that's done, um, I can type in my notes. Well, and I know one of the integrations, which you're probably going to get to in a minute, is with Cole Realty Resource, and Cole does designate um, whether people are on do not call or not. So, yeah, uh, but we can get into that more down the road. But keep on rolling. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. So as soon as you hang up here, um, and this she puts me on hold forever. Um, I'm going to close out of this completely as soon as it. Um, I can put in my notes. I can do everything else. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's how that would work. We do handle all of the unsubscribes from the emails, or if your emails aren't any good, you forgot the M and .com, um, we will notify you that that's a bad email and you can adjust that. Um, the same rule does apply for texting. So if someone, if you text somebody and they um, say stop, they reply stop, it will prevent you from sending them another text message again. If they, you know, call you and say, hey, you know what, I don't know why I clicked, I typed stop, I inadvertently did that, I want to restart that again, all they have to do is text you back saying start, and then that will start all over again. And with the text messages, all those responses go to directly to your mobile device, and they will also come directly into um, your, um, into your CRM, into Wise Agent. So if I go to handy dandy Michael Phelps here. I already had him open. You can see all the text messages that I've had with him. Um, so I, you know, been texting him and then this arrow indicates that he was replying to me. Okay. And so then you can see um, the AI bot a little bit. Actually, I have a better um, person with the AI bot. I can't see. Um, so this would be what the texting um, through the bot looks like. So you can see the conversation. So the bot gets a name and there is an additional cost to that. The cost is such a minimal cost, especially if you are buying leads. NAR statistics show that um, you know, potential clients or leads cost an average of 50 to $250 per potential client, right, per lead. Um, and so um, the bot would be an additional dollar fifty a month, so eighteen dollars for the year. And this will go out, and it will um, try to to have that conversation with them for twelve months. It'll keep nudging them. Um, and really, what the the purpose of the bot is is to engage, and then nurture, and then qualify. Because you're busy running your real estate business, these new leads, the prospects that are coming in are being qualified by the bot, having that conversation like, hey, so what's the address that you're selling, right? And then Jeremiah's replied, you know, one, two, three, anywhere, right? Okay, can we do it? Can we set up a Zoom? Yes, I love video. Okay, well, now they've said, um, and this was a short interaction, they've said that, yes, they are willing and able to um, do a video call or have a one-on-one -on -one meeting or whatever it is that they suggest um, and they accept, the, the potential client accepts, then the bot will say, great, I'm going to let my associate know. So now the person that the, the potential client knows that it's not Mia, right? Because we've given her name. Um, so it's not Mia that they're actually going to be meeting. It's going to be an associate. And so then there's a, a transition that you don't see here in this conversation. It happens through a text that me as the agent, I'll get notified by Mia saying, Jeremiah is ready to meet with you. And so then the bot is, is, you know, then paused. And now I can come in and say, hey, perfect. What's your, your timeline? When's, when is it ideally, um, you know, when's your ideal time to meet and whatnot? And then you can have the conversation. Um, outside of the bot, then you take it on. Okay, so the bot will go out and qualify. And if the bot doesn't get a response, it'll keep nudging and nudging for up to 12 months. Okay. So, and it's not like a nudge, like every five minutes for 12 months continuously. It, it does it in a sophisticated way that it's not being a nuisance. Okay. So that's how that would work. Um, the other, um, so we talked a little bit about pricing on that. The other pricing I wanted to share with you guys is just an NAR statistic. I did some research um, last night and 
um, you know, NAR statistics are showing that the average um, price for a home in 2021, this is across the US, was, and I'm gonna, um, let me see if I can bring this stat up here. Um, let me see, where is it? Gotta love lots of screens here. So the average price of a home was $358,000 in 2021. And the, um, if you do a 3% um, gross commission, that would be $53,000 on if you're selling five homes, right? This is drive for five. We're pushing you guys to sell either your first five homes or five additional homes or 5X, right? So Wise Agent is $395 for the year, and that includes the texting service, right? So that's a, um, a, just a, a, better, a better deal with, um, with HomeSmart than with um, just going out and getting it on your own. Um, so that's less than, the, less than 1% of an investment for your CRM. So that's three quarters of an investment. I'm gonna just put these statistics in here for everyone to see. Um, and check my yeah, and, and, and I didn't want to interrupt you, Lenny. Yeah. There were a lot of questions all the way through. Is that okay. included? Is that included? Is that included? Meaning, like, okay, so they love the the magnet pages. Is that included? That they, is. Love, they, they love the AI. Is that included? They love the texting. Is that included? So, can you give the details of what's included? Yeah. Oh, another one was MLS feed is a website if we want to do landing pages with an MLS feed, is that included? So if you could go through some of those details, that would be helpful. Yeah. So um, so the, um, the pricing is $395 annually, and that does include texting. That includes um, email capabilities. So you can send out 75,000 emails. Yes, 75,000 emails in one month through WiseAgent. Um, you can send out, um, you know, we write that the newsletter in English and in Spanish for you. All the drip campaigns are included. Um, that lead automation is also included. A landing page is also included. So you can have one active landing page per account. You could create as many as you want. If you want to have additional active ones, there, they, it is an additional $5 a month. Um, as far as the AI bot is concerned, there is an additional fee to that. So the AI bot is an additional $1.50 per lead per month, which turns out to be like $18 for the year, which is still such a, if you're thinking about it with like the NAR statistics of, let's say on the low end that you're spending 50 bucks to buy a lead, um, an additional $18 for the year is really a nominal fee when it's going out and it's having that um, conversation to qualify those leads and to nurture it. Um, so that's um, so that's kind of where we come in. So at, at less than four hundred dollars for the year, which is less than one percent of your investment after you sell, you know, potentially five homes or additional five homes at that average. I mean, in, even if you come down and say the average price for home is two hundred thousand, you're still at around like three percent of an investment, which is nothing, nothing. Um, it's a cup of coffee at Starbucks, a, you know, a day. Right. is what you're coming what it boils down to, yep. you know? Um, and so really that small investment, um, and like Todd said, it is an investment. It's not an expense is, um, is so worth it because not only are you able to respond to the potential clients that you're receiving, right? Those internet leads or the ones that you're, you're buying or are getting in from your website, because those are important ones, especially the ones that are coming in from your website. They intentionally went to your website. You wanna make sure that they're being responded to. Um, you know, And then it's also, you're able to um, nurture the clients that you already have in your database because you wanna have that second transaction with them, right? Uh, maybe they want to invest, or maybe they have adult children that are now getting out of the house and they want to go buy their own house. Um, the AI bot will even right. help with that. We have other stuff that is coming down in the pipeline in the next few weeks that will also help with that. Um, being able to see kind of what their move score is and the likelihood of them moving. So we'll, we have that kind of being built out um, right now, and that should be coming out soon. So, Lenny, if you could look at the chat real quick, there's a couple <laughs> other little questions. Um, but, uh, Eric, I wanted to answer yours. You know, is this price available to the general public or is there a discount code? So Eleni just said, you know, because they are a HomeSmart Premier Partner of ours, the, the, this is a discounted price for HomeSmart agents. Um, inside of your Real Smart Agent panel, 
we've been having Corey log in and on the left hand navigation bar down at the lower left corner, it says agent marketplace. And that's where the agent marketplace is. And you click into the marketplace area, you're gonna see your contact management, um, your automated marketing, um, Wise Agent is in there in multiple areas. So if you go click in and, and join from there, um, that's one way of um, you know getting the home smart discount is through your real smart agent panel. I do believe that Eleni also can type in a link directly right now yeah. in the chat for all of you just to go to directly to make it easy for all of you. Um, but there is special home smart pricing. Um, we have worked with Wise Agent for many, many, many years. And the agents, just the feedback from the agents are is amazing. And so that's why we continue to um, believe in and support and you know why I work it into my training because the the results they just speak for themselves. Um, one quick question: Is there a limit on the number of contacts? I know you said something like thirty thousand emails or something like that, but seventy five thousand emails a month. Okay, yeah, seventy five thousand a month. A month. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I All mean, right. if so, you have if you have that many contacts in your database, then just call me directly because I want to talk to you. I want to see where, where did you get all these people? What's happening here? Um, right. But yeah, so you you can have it's there is no limit to the number of contacts that you have in Wise Agent. Um, I can go on and on on prospecting just in, within your database and um, doing all of that stuff too. Um, but and we'll help you clean up your database. That's the number one thing that our support gets asked the most. So I want to reassure you guys. If you're sitting here and you're like, gosh, I want to do this, but I'm so nervous because my contacts are all over the place. They're in some old CRM that I haven't logged into since 2015. They're in some, you know, some spreadsheet that I have in my Google Drive account. There are some that I have on a post-it note. I have some random business cards on my desk as well. Don't worry about it. I don't want you to be nervous about that because that's what our specialty is. So just reach out to us. And we'll help you sort through that and give you, you know, the best guidance for you to get all of those people in your database. Um, I did want to answer a couple of these questions because there's a lot in here and I, and I warned you guys, I talked fast, so sorry about that. Um, so D asked, is $1.50 a lead, um, you know, um, so the bot is engaged, is it $18 per lead? Yes, Johnny, it is $18 per lead at the most. So if you're just buying per like- year. Yeah, per year. Per year. Yeah. So per year, per per lead, right? So um, that would be um, how that works. Um, if you wanted to buy more, there is like it's tiered pricing. So if you wanted to buy more um, credits, you can. I just did a webinar last week, Thursday, I believe, with one of our members, a power user that's using the AI bot. He's already converted a ton of a few people just in the last several months or a couple of months. Um, and he's buying it at the highest level. So he's paying $1.33 per, per lead. So it does range between $1.15 and $1.33. Right, so if you, had, if you had 10 people like per month that were doing that, 10 people mm -hmm. at $1.50 would be $15. 15 bucks. Um, but okay. we have done, I mean, we did some tests last spring yeah. with um, taking contacts, you know, and putting them into the system and um, coming back with the ROI. And I believe that the test group that you did it with, they were they were surprised at how much engagement they got out of yeah. uh, leads that they thought were, were non, non active. Right? right. They just thought they were like dead, dead contacts, dead leads, right. That, that it was just a dead end for them, but it was, it re-engaged them. So even if you have contacts in your database from like, you know, months ago or even years ago, you can re-engage them through the bot. Um, somebody else said you covered a lot, Eleni. Does Wise Agent have an introduction video detailing all the features that you offer? Yes, Andy, it does. And um, you can slow it down so it doesn't go as fast as I do. We do have all of the, those videos. So just really just if you send it um, an email to help at Wise Agent, um, we can send you all of that. Um, so one other quick little thing um, for everyone as well. So we're gearing up, we're getting ready to go to the um, growth summit. We're going to see Wise Agent and their entire team at the Growth Summit. Um, we did do last spring with Eleni and um, a large team. Um, she created a 12-week program that really helped the agents walk through um, one week at a time some action items and how to really get going on the system. They also do have those one-on-one -on -one consultants 
that can actually help you do that as well on a regular basis. If you need that, they can help you walk through. But I guess I wanted to say um, that we are going after convention, we are going to schedule you know, a series with Wise Agent and the Wise Agent team or those of you that choose to go with Wise Agent and implement this system that they're gonna walk you through that process after convention on a, on a weekly basis, as well as if you wanna do that on your own, Eleni, I mean, talk about that a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the, um, the 12 weeks that we're gonna be doing is, um, really it's like 12 weeks of coaching with me. And so I will break all of this down in bite-sized pieces, right? So everything from like how your contacts get in and um, just the lead nurturing, the marketing, um, the segmenting of the audience, the newsletters, all of that stuff. We'll get into all of that as well. Um, so that is something that I'm really excited about. We did do that with um, one of the teams here in the Valley, and it was really successful. And so I was grateful to Todd and, and the Home Smart team that, um, you know, we are engaging with you guys and we're, we practice what we preach here. So we use Wise Agent for ourselves internally, um, as well as, you know, doing, I mean, I use it for myself. We have, a, we have several different Wise Agent accounts. We have this master team account that we use. And so when you guys sign up for Wise Agent, You'll see, you'll get an email, you'll get a text message, you'll get a phone call from us to really pin you down on that one-on-one -on -one getting started session. So you can get that one-on-one -on -one time with our staff so they can help you get started successfully. Okay. And how much of the texting is included again, real quick? Is texting included? Texting is included in that $3.95 a year. It is. Um, that is included in that, um, in that price and even in the monthly fee. Yeah. Okay. All right. And Amit just said, so Todd, should we wait for the growth summit um, and then get, um, or can we uh, get before as well and get the same benefits? I mean, I don't- Start I don't today. Think, start today, <laughs> don't, don't wait. Start today. So start today, you're, you know- um, I'll be in Vegas and you can come talk to me. Um, I'll be there with Taylor, one of our, um, one of our trainers. Um, at the Growth Summit. So stop by our booth in Vegas. I love meeting everyone. I love meeting people. Um, and we can we can talk about, you know, what's happening in your account, We you know, uh, what your successes are, um, any questions that you may have. Um, so, um, so I love, I love, um, all the, all these questions. So is that unlimited texting? It is limited. So it is a thousand text messages per month, which that is still an incredible amount of text messaging that you can do. Um, so you can do that through the drip campaigns and I didn't show you, but I have one minute. So I'm going to sneak this in really quickly. Um, I can come into, ah, where's my contact list? Um, I can just come in here and just select a group of people and just say, you know, send this text message out to everyone and the system is smart enough to know that oh you only have um, only 79 out of the 250 people that you um, selected have a phone number for you to text and then it'll one just the, prompt me for thing, one of the best things you can do to use that for is if you're doing open houses you create an open house list of people who want to be notified when you're doing open houses or buyers and then what you do is a text message is a great way to say open house this Saturday 10 a.m. to 11, you know, or 10 a.m. to noon, and text that message out to a small group, you know, 75 people. But how many of you would love 75 buyers coming through an open house? Um, that's pretty powerful. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, yes. So, um, yes, I, I I'm excited to meet you all. I'm excited to see you guys signing up for. Um, for Wise Agent, just go to wiseagent.com slash homesmart. Um, stop by our booth at um, convention and say hi to myself and Taylor. And, um, you know, you can reach out to us. I put all of our contact information as well. And one question, final question was, if I already have Wise Agent, can I get that HomeSmart pricing? Absolutely. Just send us an email and we'll, um, we'll convert you over to that discounted pricing. Perfect. All right. So, Lenny, real quick, just put your contact information in. One more time, I um, had cut and pasted the, and maybe the link real quick, the- Yes. Um, one more time. Yeah. And then anything else, what'd you guys, uh, what'd you think? Do you like what you saw today? Uh, love it, okay. Um, let's um, give Eleni a big, uh, you know, virtual clap, <laughs> round of applause. Thank you. Thank you for doing this with us today. Um, Thanks, appreciate Dad. everything, Eleni. And uh, we will, see you in Vegas and um, see you back on future webinars as well as we yes. dig this even more. All right. So thank you everyone. Take care. Thanks.
Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Todd. All right. Bye. bye.